Baltimore's iconic Francis Scott Key Bridge plunges into the water. Join us as we explore the science behind this tragic event on March 26, 2024. The Francis Scott Key Bridge, situated in Baltimore, United States, spans the lower Patapsco River and the outer Baltimore Harbor port, linking Hawkins Point and Dundalk in Maryland. With a length of approximately 2.6 kilometers, the Francis Scott Key Bridge is one of the longest continuous truss bridges in the United States. Tragically, on March 26, 2024, the main spans of the bridge were destroyed when a container ship named MV Dolly collided with one of its support pillars. The Dolly container ship involved in this accident is relatively young, with a gross tonnage of 95,000 tons. It boasts an impressive length overall of 300 meters and a width of 50 meters, which is nearly equivalent to three football fields in length, considered an average size container ship. At the time of the collision, the container ship was sailing under the flag of Singapore, en route from the port of Baltimore, Maryland, USA, to Colombo, Sri Lanka. Notably, the ship had been involved in a previous collision in 2016 at the port of Antwerp in Belgium. However, specific details regarding the extent of the damage and the cause of that incident remain unclear. So what exactly unfolded during the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse? Here's a detailed timeline. At 1.04 a.m., loaded with shipping containers, the Dolly departs from Baltimore's port, bound for Colombo, Sri Lanka. At 1.24 a.m., the Dolly slowly approaches the key bridge, as captured by video from Streamtime Live. The ship is supposed to go through the middle of the main support pillars, but things went wrong. Little after 1.24 a.m., the Dolly appears to suffer a total power failure, evidenced by all lights on the ship going out. At 1.25 a.m., the ship's lights flicker back on, likely due to an emergency generator activating after the initial blackout. However, the ship's engines fail to restart, and black smoke starts rising from somewhere aboard the vessel. 1.26 a.m., the ship's lights go dark again. A mayday call is issued, warning of the power loss, prompting authorities to quickly shut down traffic to the bridge in a bid to prevent potential casualties. Due to the momentary loss of power, the ship becomes unable to maintain its desired heading and begins to veer towards the key bridge's support pillar. At 1.28 a.m., traveling at around 14.82 meters per second, the ship collides with a support pillar of the bridge. Within seconds, a section of the bridge crumbles and collapses into the river below. Construction workers and vehicles on the bridge are plunged into the frigid waters of the Patapsco River. The Francis Scott Key Bridge, constructed throughout the mid-1970s and officially opened in 1977, features a main structure characterized by a continuous truss bridge design, comprising three sections or spans. The central main section, likely the longest, is where the collapse occurred. The remaining two sections on either side connect the bridge to land. Crucially, the bridge is supported by four pillars, with two situated on each side of the navigable waterway, emphasizing their significance in safeguarding against potential ship impacts. Bridge designs often incorporate various protective measures, among which the implementation of dolphin structures crafted from concrete along with fenders is crucial. Positioned strategically around the bridge's support pillars, these dolphins are engineered to absorb the energy from any unexpected vessel impact sacrificing themselves to prevent direct collision with the bridge. However, when it comes to the Francis Scott Key Bridge, information regarding the presence and effectiveness of these dolphin structures remains uncertain. When a ship loses propulsion power, it loses its ability to maneuver effectively as its propellers and thrusters become inoperable. Consequently, the ship may drift aimlessly, even if it was moving at a speed of approximately 8 knots or about 14.82 meters per second. However, due to its massive weight, estimated at around 95,000 tons, the ship carries tremendous momentum. 
The collision between the vessel and the pier seems to have occurred almost directly head-on, indicating that the force of impact was exceptionally significant. As a result, the collapse of the 804-meter-long three-span section of the bridge can be attributed to this force, which demolished one of the main bridge piers. This loss of vital support destabilized the steel truss superstructure and its suspended roadway, leading to a catastrophic structural failure. The entire middle steel section collapsed into the river below. That's all for today. If you think my contents are valuable to the world, you are welcome to join my Patreon community. Like and subscribe to Professor Mad for more interesting videos.